Hello everyone, and welcome to Osin Punk 2023. It's a real pleasure being here, virtually, and doing this short presentation for you. My uh, presentation is going to be on facial recognition. You may have noticed my voice has been changed. Um, basically, you can do so much with AI these days. Uh, I'd rather not have my voice lingering around uh, the internet. But before starting, I'd like to uh, I'd like to put out a short message to uh, to my Spanish brothers. Hola a todos, es un placer estar aquí con mis hermanos y hermanas españoles. Okay, that's done. <laughs> Let's get the show on the road. Uh, I'm going to start by running a basic um, search on the Yandex images. I'm going to conduct a face search for quite a high profile target. So this is a um a Russian spy who was caught in the US. Her name is uh Maria Butina. I've run the search on Yandex. Um we can see what Yandex does is actually pull the same photo which is across uh you know many websites. But Yandex has also recognized who this person is. As we can see here, it says image appears to contain. And here in Russian, it says Maria Butina. So if we click here, we can see a, a new tab has opened. And we can see many other photos of this target. Let's go to Google. With Google Lens, we're, we're going to carry out the same search. What can we see again? Um, like Yandex, uh, Google Lens acts the same, you know, it pull, it's pulling uh, exactly the same image from across various websites. But here at the top, we can see her name. And uh, if we scroll to the right here, we can see other images. And then right at the end, we can click more images. Same as Yandex, a new tab opens and we can see loads more images of the target. So, what would you say so far? It, it kind of looks uh, pretty uh, equivalent, pretty much the same between Yandex and Google. But now, uh, let's make things harder. Let's search for another target. This is a Ukrainian female living in France. She's um, she's quite high profile. She's been on the uh, on French TV before. The first results here are quite disappointing. Uh, we can't we can't see a match. Yandex doesn't provide the goods, so we're gonna try and crop uh, and leave out and leave uh, just the face. We're basically isolating the face. That's all we want Yandex to work on. And again, this is very disappointing here. Um, it's disappointing because I used to use Yandex a lot for faces. There was a time when it used to be so powerful. It used to be great with faces, and uh, it, it was downgraded a few years ago, and it's been it's been terrible ever since for for faces. Let's try with Google Lens. There's a match. This is superb. Google Lens was very fast. It matched the photo straight away. We can see here uh, it comes from the um, news channel where she was interviewed. One thing I'd like to stress is that when you uh, carry out a search on Google Lens, don't don't be satisfied with the with the results. Always click on find image source as well. You you can get some very pleasant surprises. So I'll click. And what can we see here? We've got two pages of results. We can uh, see different news websites. We've got Yahoo. We've got the uh, the news channel uh, that she was interviewed at. And we can see two different profiles for her. 
two different Instagram profiles that she has. Um, and uh, obviously, uh, if the Instagram profiles have come out in the results, this means that she posted the interview or the photo to her to both her Instagram accounts. If you want, we can we can check this. Here, see here. This is the interview, and also here. And if we go to her other account, it will probably be the same as well. So this is very, uh, very satisfying uh, results. And uh, so far, from the tests we've carried out between Yandex and Google, um, Google basically takes the lead. I'd like to uh, point out and stress that uh, even though Google was better this time, don't only use Google. When, you, when you're carrying out your research and intelligence, try and use all search engines. They all have different algorithms and uh, sometimes it's the search engine you're least expecting to provide results that will actually uh, surprise you. So, uh, you know, try varying your searches across all search engines. Just a tip. Now I'd like to show you this tool. Um, it's called Search for Faces. It's a Russian tool. It came out a few years ago. I think it's two years ago. Um, when it came out, it was only in Russian. Now the good thing about it is that is that it's in English and it's free. You can search public uh, persons across it. It has like uh, over uh, 55 million faces. <laughs> You've got uh, avatars from uh, Clubhouse. You've got avatars from TikTok. You can search avatars from VK and also uh, photos from VK counts, meaning this is uh, photos that uh, people have uploaded to their VK account. Let's um, let's continue with the uh, Ukrainian female. Let's run a search, uh, a TikTok search for the avatar. I'll upload the same photos before. What I like about this tool is that you don't need to crop. Just put the photo in and it will uh, it will crop the uh, face. We know she's a female. We can ask for 100 results. We know she's above 20. We know she's below 45. Country and city can be left blank. Wow, look at this. That was fast. There's a match. Identical. We can see it's her. Daria, French tutor, and uh, we can see she has or had a um, a TikTok profile. Wonderful. Let's run another search. Let's now run a search for VK profiles. Again, let's put the same photo. The tool crops it for us. Female. Age above 20, below 45. Search. It can sometimes be slow, but it's still a great tool. I mean, it's free, so uh, the algorithm is, is very powerful. And um, just kudos to the uh, creators of this. Still searching.
Done. Look at this. Wow. It's found matches everywhere. So many photos of the target. What do we notice here at the top is that we have uh, the same person but different profiles, meaning uh, she has minimum two profiles on VK. We can see it's the same person living in Ukraine, Kiev, or was living in Ukraine, Kiev, um, but not the same name, meaning she has two profiles. So we can start here with the first link. Born January the 11th, we get a Gmail address here. Second profile, again, January the 11th, living in Kiev. And this is just another one of her profiles. So she has two. This is one of the reasons why this is a great tool. I mean, you can find a target that has three or four profiles on VK. And this doesn't just pull... Um, basically, uh, photos that that are avatars, it pulls photos uploaded by the target within their VK accounts. Because we can see here, all the other photos are actually from the same account. Let's try and find a photo where she doesn't look the same. I'm going to show you a new tool. Yeah, she kind of looks different on this one. So let's save it. Now we can close this tab. Now that you've seen the power of this tool, we're going to use a. Uh, a Chinese tool that I found. Uh, it's called Face Plus Plus. It basically replaces Microsoft Azure. As you know, uh, the previous years, all the um, OSINT analysts were using Microsoft Azure, but now it's been uh, made a paid tool and uh, many people stopped using it. So this Chinese tool is quite good. It's free. Let's, um, let's upload. Let's upload the photo that looks a little bit different. And the one we know, this is the target. So as we can see here, compare result is same person, probability very high. What you can also do is go in the JSON response and look at this. Confidence is 87.7%. Usually, uh, with this tool, anything above 80% usually means it's uh, it's like nearly 100% that it's the same person. Sometimes you can get, you know, lookalikes uh, with faces. When you get lookalikes and people really, really looking like each other, what you have to do is try and get close-ups of the face and then try and match scars, marks, um, you know, beauty spots, etc. That's how faces work. Everyone has a different face. We all have uh, different marks and, you know, we're, we're all unique and that's, that's how you work with faces. So, this is it for Face++. Plus Plus. If you need uh, any links after this presentation, you know, don't hesitate, just contact me and I'll provide you with the links. Now I'll close this tab. Let's go to the Rolls Royce of facial recognition. This is Pimize. It's a, it's a paid tool, but you can still use it uh, for free. When you run a search for free, you just won't be able to click the link. But sometimes, you know, even with the free version, you can find some, some stuff on photos. They, um, Pimize actually blur out the stuff around the target. But sometimes you can actually see uh different things like uh maybe the make of a phone maybe someone 
you recognize a building or uh, stuff like that. Let's upload a photo of the Ukrainian female. Optimize it quite fast. Well, as you can see here, it's pulled uh, a lot of photos. See here, we can see like half a face of a female. If it's someone you know, you'd probably recognize this person. Here we can see a phone. Here we can see uh, cars. Some, this looks like the desert, probably. Here's the target when she was young. I have a, uh, I have a lot of doubts here uh, for the blonde lady. I'd say it's not her. Again, this is her when she was young, for sure. And uh, I'd have doubts here for the blonde lady with the hat and the lady with the brown, dark hair. And here at the bottom, the two photos at the end. I'd have doubts as well, as well as this one, the lady holding the ball. But otherwise, uh, you know, it's um, it's really a great tool, PIMIS, and it's pulled fantastic results here. Well, guys, it's uh, now time to say goodbye. I hope you enjoyed this uh, short presentation on facial recognition. Don't hesitate to contact me if you wish to do so. Just uh, DM me via Twitter. This is my handle, osin underscore tactical. Take care and see you again soon. Bye-bye.